What is up, people on the internet? JQL here, back from the video. In today's video, I'm doing a different kind of video. I'm actually doing a supply video, like what kind of material I use and stuff like that. Uh, whenever I make my custom minifigures. So yeah, here in the front of uh, in front of you, I have a bunch of custom minifigures, some old, some new, and yeah, uh, even Instagram hasn't even seen some of these figures yet, uh, at least in completed form. But yeah, anyway, let's just get started. Uh, what first things first? What paint do I use? Oh man. Uh, I'm surprised so many people keep asking because I always mention it in my videos, but I basically use Craftsmart paint. I'm actually going to move my camera a little bit. And yeah, uh, this is the paint I use. I got to focus, sorry. Um, just Craftsmart paint. And I usually use satin acrylic paint, but sometimes, uh, well, at least recently, I've just been using just plain acrylic paint. Um, I had to use this one because they ran out of uh, black paint, so I just had to use that one. It's a matte color. This one gives you not really a matte. Like, it gives you kind of, like, a satin finish, like, with this Deadpool. It's not exactly matte, but it's also not, you know, shiny or anything. Um, so that's basically what I use for most of my paints. Um, I, I get a lot of questions asking about what flesh paint I use. I use this one, Craft Smart Satin Acrylic Paint, and it matches Lego's flesh color pretty well. Um, not always. If I grab, like, this hedge right here, I gotta move this thing. Um, that's, like, a, uh, the, uh paint right there if i just focus a little bit it matches it somewhat well not perfectly but you know um it does the best it's really watery though and it's very uh thin so it makes it a little hard to use um another paint i use is i've been recently been using this um apple barrel uh just this one pretty much um i think my, my sister's got it for me uh at like walmart or something uh, i haven't used it too often but i've may i've mainly been using um this one the white uh snow white acrylic paint um it's like not chunky it's really it's pretty thick and it's really hard to smooth out um but it's a little easier to work with than the uh previous white paint i've been using so yeah that's nice um other stuff i use uh i've recently started using oh crap it um citadel paints uh this one i've been using the room fang steel and the evil sun scarlet uh these two i've been using quite a bit um they're uh, Pretty nice to use. Uh, I like, they're easy to work with. It's just taking them out of the bottle. That's a little bit, bit of a pain. And last but not least, Lumiere paint. Uh, I think Ross MGF custom uses this metallic red paint. I've been using it lately. It's okay. It's not the best uh, metallic red I've ever seen, but it's not bad. Um, oh, forgot to mention, I use folk art sometimes. This is a red uh, gloss paint that I've been using. And I like the uh, color red. I just don't like the gloss. That's why sometimes it's like glossy and all that. And sometimes they use metallic paints uh, from Craft Smart, like this one. And sometimes they use folk art, like for with this gunmetal. And you can tell this is really old because um, I've had it for like, oh man, like three or four years now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the paints I use. Uh, I'm gonna move the camera back down here and focus again because yeah. Um, something else I use. Uh, whenever I customize it, I use Procreate. This is pretty much what it looks like. It, it comes with like a paper thing, but I don't have it anymore because I threw it out. Um, it's like a black and white putty mixture. You mix it together and then, you know, you guys get how it works by now. I'm pretty sure all of you know how it works, but um, yeah. And then I have an older container that contains like some old, like dry Procreate. Uh, it's basically like, you know, the dry Procreate method. Whenever I have like extra pieces of Procreate, I roll it out into a certain shape or something. And then I just keep it in here whenever I need to use it so I can get some crisp, um, like, stuff. And if I, for example, like my Mandalorian figure here, I gotta focus this. This is really bad. Um, some of the parts are dry sculpted on this guy. So, uh, yeah, I, I, that's usually what I use dry sculpting for. Um, it happens a lot because I, <laughs> I usually overdo it. And, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Um, other stuff I use, I use some uh, paint brushes that I have, um, I just had laying around the house. Uh, I use these primarily for like dry brushing or you know putting down like layers of paint on a you know thick big surface. That's usually what I use them for. And obviously I use scissors sometimes um, whenever I'm cutting like paper or whatnot for my accessories and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make a index card tutorial at one point. I'm not sure when. I don't really have a lot of time right now, but I'm gonna make it eventually, and it's gonna come. Cause so that's gonna be a whole separate video. And if I move my little thing out, I have like a little like drawer thing in my desk. And these are some stuff I use. Uh, these two containers contain like cutting stuff, super glue. Um, this is the gel super glue I use. 
it's it's okay it's not oh, i gotta focus sorry it's not the best uh super glue ever like and you know i use this liquid super glue too these are you know super glue it's still strong but it's not the strongest ever i use this because i don't trust myself using uh stronger super glue this one i actually use to seal the side of my minifigures uh hang on, i'm trying to find an example uh let's just grab spider-man here real quick uh You'll notice that it is, uh, the sides are, well, some parts are shiny, some parts are not. I don't recommend using this technique when sealing minifigure, uh, minifigures, um, but I do that so way, you know, I can, you know, seal the sides. Um, I should try and get new ones, but, oh, well, whatever, whatever <laughs> works, I guess. Uh, I don't, uh, seal my figures traditionally, like, the entire figure, so they're prone to chipping and whatnot. Um, that's because I primarily, I, I handle them a lot, so you know, I know the limits of so whatever. Um, I have some sanding stuff in here. I have some sanding sticks, like uh, nail filers, uh, some more X-Acto knives in here. Uh, this X-Acto knife, actually, I use for painting. I don't use it for cutting anymore because it's really dull, but I do like using this to paint thin stuff, or, like thin lines and whatnot. And I have a bunch of different kind of uh, filers here. The, and originally, this came with, like, for a Gundam set. Uh, to, like, you know, people who like building model kits, they use this stuff a lot. So, yeah, that's, uh, where I got it. I got it off Amazon. It's, like, 13 bucks. Um, this one's another thing. More sanding sticks, some more exacto knives, some, uh, where are these called? Tweezers. Um, some blades in here. And, yeah, so, these exacto knives I actually use for cutting, not for the other ones. This one, uh, the sanding stick's pretty old. Um, this is a paint thing, uh, paint palette, I guess. It is solid like a brick, like... It's, <laughs> I've been using this for years. Uh, I think since I started posting figures and started using paints. So it's from the very beginning, you can see it's pretty thick. Um, I don't know exactly what this was before, but it's used to, it used to be like, I don't know, cardboard. And this is what I use to mix paints and stuff like that now. And uh, these things, this is what I used to get off printing sometimes. I don't really use this anymore. Uh, I use an eraser now, like, you know, just the, this, this thick eraser. And, um, the reason why I don't use this is because it makes it, like, look matte and less shiny. Uh, so I don't recommend using that. This one is used for sanding. I use this to... It's, like, lightly sanding to smooth it out. It's not meant for, you know, thick uh, sanding, like, you know, aggressive sanding like this thing is. So, yeah, this thing is just a napkin that I use to wipe off paint. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for down here. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I don't... Like I said, I'm going to make a, you know, trench coat index card thing tutorial eventually at one point. Uh, that's like a whole different topic in itself. And yeah, I, I guess I can show off these things. I usually don't. But um, this is the stuff I use to like, you know, whenever I'm drying my mini figures, body parts, like this thing dries arms. Like I just connect it to this. These hands are in case, you know, I just want to dry the arms. This thing right here is for dry drying the, I don't want to focus, sorry, uh, drying the waist uh, part of the minifigure the connector thing and yeah um these are the toothpicks i've been using lately uh i use toothpicks to paint a lot um especially when it comes to thin detail i use the exact exact knife a lot but these i do like using and this one like i usually use them until like they turn into something like this that way this one i use for spreading super glue um but yeah so i use them until there's something like this that way i don't waste toothpicks because if i use too many then i'm gonna run out like really fast and i just keep them in here and i use these to hold the legs together uh separately so that way i can paint them and then i have a tack here which i use sometimes i don't really use it that often but yeah i use it sometimes and yeah uh over here are some work in progress this, um that i will probably never see the light of day and this is just a what was it? Outrider figure that I'm gonna use for the black suit Spider Man at one point. Um, and yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for my supply video. I don't think I use anything else that I haven't shared already. Uh, most of these things I've already shared, but a lot of people keep asking, so I decided to make a video on uh, my supplies. And uh, oh, I use this thing a lot. Uh, this is like a mat thing, so that way, you know, my desk is already kind of fucked up, but. Ah, that was a curse word. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, this thing I used to paint a lot. I used to I used to cut stuff over so I don't damage it in my desk too much. But it's already messed up, as you can see. And, yeah. So, sorry for that squ swear word earlier. I, did, I try not to swear, but it just came out. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. That's the last thing. I, I don't really have a script for this. I just kind of, you know, go off. So, that's pretty much it, uh, it for this supply video. I guess I'll show off some customs here. This is Ant-Man uh, version 2. 
uh, I used the Nate's Minifigs uh, red clear helmet. I just painted it up, and I used the new um, Citadel paint for this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll make, I'll make a video on this guy or not, um, but yeah, I really like how you can see the eyes now, so that's really cool. Um, this is Scarlet Witch from WandaVision. The hairpiece is obviously Nate's Minifigs, really great piece, and I painted this figure myself. Hang on, let me just focus. There we go, that's a lot better. And, uh, I'm not going to show Batman yet, because uh, I'll make a separate video for him. And here's Iron Man, also Nate's Minifigs parts. Uh, I just, it's the Mark III. I made a lot of weathering on this guy. He looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, back here, I'll make the videos on these two eventually. And uh, if anyone knows who this is, then uh, good on you. Because, yeah, um, this isn't actually for me. It's actually for my sister, but I just, yeah. Um, anyway, putting these figures back over here. There's no room for Iron Man now, because... Uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, let me just refocus. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, all my supply video. I guess I can show another teaser uh, right here. It's Black Widow. I'll finish her at one point. I don't know when, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm also working on a bunch of customs right now. Uh, more than I usually am. Uh, but they're all just kind of collecting dust at this point. Because um, yeah, I am very busy and lazy at the same time. So Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if I did not mention something that you want to know, leave a comment down below and I will hopefully answer it or maybe make a separate video entirely for it, that uh, question and whatnot. So yeah, uh, thank you guys once again so much for watching. I do have uh, stuff coming eventually. I'm not sure when. And uh, I will post it here. And I, But I do post them on my Instagram first, link in description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions, I'll be, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever or whatever video it'll be. I'll see you guys next time.